All right, now, now we've been covering the sound uh, projection for a number of weeks now, and uh, we're going to take a little divergence. Now, the divergence is not so much from the sound. It's going to be the same sound we used um, in the prior two um, sessions or the training uh, sections for those two, two sounds. And we're going to um, do something different with them. And uh, this is not so much uh, for you to work with now. We're just sort of jumping the ship a little bit. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be advancing it. Now, this isn't something you want to try on everything that we've done in the past to build up your skills with. But I just want to be able to show you um, how to use this, how to learn it, and how to work it for yourself. So after this series is over, you can perpetuate your um, skill sets. And this isn't just with the Q show. You can develop this with any part of your martial study as well. So this is a very important video for you to see. Uh, in the extended versions, we're going to go through that training. We're going to display the two sounds that are being used. And we're going to be showing you the um, results of them. And they're profound. And again, we were going easy because it's just a training. It's not like a real fight situation. So, of course... We were going easier with each other, but you're going to see um, the power that this sound projection has. And as I mentioned in the last um, segment, there's music. Now, some music makes you feel up. Some music makes you feel down. When you feel down, your body sort of slumps and condenses and contracts. That was the first sound, uh, the second sound we were using. And the first sound we were using is like a, a wonderful music or light uh high-pitched music that makes you feel up and alive and like expansive and you want to just put your hands in the air or dance or whatever you want to do. So again, the sound uh, is projected from either instruments, someone's vocal tubes, uh, or you're just going to be going and you're going to be making, uh, hearing these sounds in daily life that make you either feel agitated or soothed or invigorated or just drowsy, slumpy, just condensed. So again, this is a real phenomenon and uh, sound waves, except, by the way, can collapse matter into matter. And it's that important. You have the military that have sound cannons that make you feel when you're hit with it, it makes the body feel like it's on fire. And that's for crowd control. But I digress. Sound is a, a uh, known weapon to man. It's a known tool for man. And it's been known for centuries because this again emanated from the white crane systems. You had the calling crane, you had a shouting crane. There was a many different crane techniques that use this um, uh, apparatus. And you also have the key eyes that are in uh, kathas. And many different key eyes are available also. We might develop those a little bit later. That's a completely different paradigm from what we're using now. And it, once we get into that paradigm, you'll understand the um, differences and the potentials of those as well. So sit back, watch the um, demonstration and the uh, true power of these sound projections. <laughs> 